Hey guys, what's up? Back with another video today. I got a brand new shoe for me to review for you guys. And it's a LeBron 11. I'm just going to get that out of the way right off the bat. As you guys know, I am a huge fan of the Nike LeBron 11. It is my favorite shoe. I currently have... 27 pairs of LeBron 11s that I forgot. Uh, 27 pairs. I think I might be getting one for Christmas. My dad's not too good at keeping secrets. Maybe one for Christmas that I'm missing, but uh, out of those 27 pairs that I have, three of them are Nike IDs. I really love the options that they provided on Nike ID this year with the LeBron 11, which is awesome because, it, as I said, it's my favorite shoe, so awesome options on Nike ID for my favorite shoe. Can you beat it? I don't think you can. Uh, so I made three, as I said. This is one of the ones that I made. I'm calling this one the Blood Splatter colorway. Uh, it's very simple why I'm calling it the Blood Splatter colorway, like you can see it blood splatter all over the shoe. So this is the firework print of the LeBron 11. They had a firework design, came out on the 4th of July I believe, and was available right until the end of the LeBron 11 uh, on ID, which was around October 10th, I believe. So I always start off when I'm making an ID with an entirely black template or an entirely white template, just a base thing for me to start working on. The first thing you do on Nike ID is the hyperposit, and I turn this red to red, everything else is still black, and I'm like, okay, I'm done, I'm making this, it's beautiful. So it took me about 30 seconds to make this, and I knew I was gonna buy it right away. I put it in my locker, kept it there for a couple of weeks, and then I still couldn't find any other better designs with this firework uh, pattern, and I knew I wanted to get this, so I went ahead and pulled the trigger. I'm gonna give you a quick review of these and then throw them on feet for you guys. So starting off on the bottom, we have blacked out bottom, your white LeBron James signature right there on the plastic uh, plastic shank plate right there. The hyperposit obviously is the only place you have color on the shoe in this red firework print. It really does look like blood splatter in my opinion. Uh, it wraps all the way around the shoe. On the toe you have your diamond cut swoosh in black. More of that blood splatter on the hyperposit on the ankle with your two cutouts and more on the heel. The, uh, the lateral swoosh is a black metallic, uh, black metallic swoosh, pardon me, in the same print as the Miami Heat Away or the King's Pride with those L's and J's all across the swoosh. The rest of the upper is black hyperfuse and black breathable mesh. It does say Flywire right here, which is the only absence of black on the rest of the upper. The laces are entirely black except for those little gray accents that they have with your metallic black lace lock. Almost looks like black ice right there. It looks really cool. And of course on top of the tongue you have your LJ Crown logo once again in a black with the rest of the tongue once again being black. The insole, you guessed it, is black with Nike ID printed on in white, which is a switch up from the regular LeBron flip it around. It says James logo that you had on the rest of the LeBron 11s. And the sock liner inside of the tongue is also black. So, a really simple colorway of these. Black, 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 black. And a little bit of red for the pop. I'm really glad how these turned out. Like, they look amazing in my opinion. I can't wait to try them out, you know, throw them on feet. So you guys will be seeing an on foot look right away. Thank you for watching this video, I know it was a pretty quick one. Hit that like button if you haven't already. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. And I'm going to give you an on-foot look right now. So, until tomorrow, peace. 